Now, page four, the hypocrisy of so-called debt-free college. It is beyond deceitful, insincere, and dishonest for temporary politicians to even suggest the mere term debt-free college. If ever there was a political oxymoron, it is so-called debt-free college. In fact, there's no such thing. It's impossible. Somebody must pay the tab for college. And under debt-free college, that somebody would be you and me, taxpayers. Everyone would pay for some kid's college, and we would pay dearly. If we think the national debt is sky high right now at nearly $22 trillion, just wait, just wait. If debt-free college is ever foisted upon us as yet another entitlement, the unfunded liability in this republic would also skyrocket to, who knows? We estimate that the unfunded liability is around $220 trillion right now, but it's somewhat of a moving target. So where does it say in the United States Constitution that the federal government should have any role in education, let alone funding college for all? It doesn't exist. Yet the socialists running for Congress in New York and Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren and Cory Booker and Kamala Harris, they're all pushing for debt-free college. And radical journalists like Ryan Liebenthal, who writes for Mother Jones, are all for it. Well, I think we really are uh, in the midst of a debt crisis. Stop, we... but this is at least a positive. At least she's mentioning the fact that we are in a debt crisis. I'm not sure whether she understands how large the debt crisis is when we're 22 trillion dollars in the operating budget in the red and some 220 trillion dollars in the unfunded liability in the red uh, and then you throw in there the most underreported or non-reported debt that we have and this is student loans oh yes this happened during the obama years we now are in charge of student loans aka student debt, a.k.a. unpaid student loans. Roll tape. Have uh, more than $1.5 trillion in student loan debt Stop currently. $1.5 trillion in student loan debt. That's the aggregate figure. It's no longer in the private sector. That figure is now us, the people of the United States. $1.5 trillion dollars in unpaid student loans is on us compliments of the obama administration because when all hell was breaking loose in 2009 and, and 2010 in the in the worst recession in the history of mankind as barack obama will always talk about he nationalized certain elements of the federal government and student loans is now one of them we are on the hook for 1.5 trillion dollars in unpaid student loans. And by the way, that number was about 1.2 trillion just a, a year or two ago. So it's increasing. <laughs> it's not being paid down, is it? Roll tape. Outstanding. Uh, and jobs really just haven't, you know, wages haven't kept pace. Stop tape. This is an excuse. Wages not keeping pace. You know what? Life happens. And when you're going to college, you can't necessarily count on a six-figure job when you graduate. You have to plan. This is what my daughter and I did when she was a senior in high school. We set out a budget of where she would go to college, colleges that were within you know, the, the realm of, of this budget. And I said to her a very important thing. I said to her, you are going to graduate with zero student loan debt. You're going to graduate with zero. And four years later, yeah. Four years, she graduated with zero student loan debt. It's not a pat on my shoulder, but this is just called financial planning. It's reasonable planning. So these parents and these students, you know, these 17-year-olds, they're not smart enough to understand student loans. They probably think it's free money that they never have to pay back. It's the parents who are allowing these kids to take all of these loans, $1.5 trillion in student loans that these kids don't understand the entire structure of borrowing money, but the parents should. It's the parents' responsibility here, and now we're on the hook. $1.5 trillion in debt because of these irresponsible parents. Roll tape.
and people are not benefiting as much from federal scholarship programs. Those also haven't kept pace. Stop State you know, I'm going to say something here, and it's probably going to get me in trouble. But here's the truth. Uh, not everybody should go to college. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.